एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आई वी यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज ईशानी एंड आई एम हियर बैक विद अनदर एक्सेल बीबीए वीडियो सो इन द लास्ट सेशन व्हाट वी सॉ वाज द यूसेज ऑफ द लूप कॉल्ड फॉर नेक्स्ट लूप इन व्हिच वी अंडरस्टूड दैट वी यूज इट फॉर अ डेफिनेट लूप डेफिनेट लूप मीनिंग वी नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स इट नीड्स टू रन टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कंडीशनल लूप लाइक अ डू व्हाइल लूप through a small example of an example called guess the age so let's get started so if you look over here i have put the basic structure of a do while in do while do while the keyword comes followed by a condition that should return us true or false as an answer now while the condition is true it will keep on repeating so while the condition is true it enters the loop put uh, you know processes are aligned that are over here goes to loop goes back if the condition happens to be true again again enters the loop repeats the process and keep on repeating while the condition is true means as soon as the condition becomes false it will exit the loop so like i said i want to explain this using a example called guessage now think about if i ask you to guess the age of someone can you give me a definite answer that yes i'm going to guess in five turns probably not you may guess the age before five or exactly in the five chances or you might want more chances to get the age so this cannot be a definite loop we are going to work on this based on conditional loops so let's get started we are going to create a sub guess age game i have declared two variables age as a byte because i'm not expecting the age to be more than 205 and a guess age as byte over here i have done an assumption that the age is 34 then i am asking the user to guess the age so guess age is my variable an input box is being used and i'm asking the user to guess the age now how does a loop run do while a keyword followed by the condition and what is the condition my condition is guess age is not equal to h now why i have given this let's see i said the program keeps on running while the condition is true means as long as your age and your guess age is not equal to each other that time a person needs to go back and guess again and as soon as these two become true uh, like they become equal it will come outside the do loop and it will give me an output of correct guess and to make it little more helpful for the person who is guessing the age i have put a small nested if over here saying if the age is greater than if the guess age is greater than age plus 10 means the person has thinking little higher he has to reduce if the guess age is less than equal to age minus 10 person is guessing too low if the gauge is not equal to if the guess age is not equal to age then it should be close right and now the only thing that we have to remember when we are working with the do while loop is that these loops if not controlled well can lead to an infinite loop and a very classic reason why it can go to a infinite loop is because this age that is getting evaluated and based on which it is deciding whether it's going to loop back or not the conditions are not changing so imagine if i did not put this line over here of an input box and guess again again right now what would happen whatever is the first guess that i had taken in initial first guess that is a guess that will drive this loop over and over again in an infinite way so what i need to do i need to ensure that i am input is changing i am changing my guess i am able to change my guess and how did i do it i have put after this nested if where i'm telling the user it's high low or it's close i'm asking the person to guess the age again 
And once a person does that, it goes back in the loop and then depending he or she has guessed the right answer, it will go through the nested if or come outside the loop and give correct guess. So the age I've put is 34. Let me run the program by pressing F5. I'm going to give 78. So it gives me an answer of too high and ask me to guess again. I'm giving 23, that's too low. I will give 31, I'm getting close. And if I give 34, I get correct guess and out. So this is how our do while loop works. They are working based on the condition. How many time it is going to run depends when the condition is going to be met and not on definite number. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you will be finding this tool very, very important, very useful. For any questions, write it in the comments. And thank you for watching this video. Take care. Bye-bye.